From one plane to another, this one flies faster than the speed of sound. Yes, you heard it right. The new quiet supersonic plane X-59 is here. X-59 plane is designed to break the sound barrier quietly. Well, if you're a fan of high-tech aircrafts, you're going to love this. NASA just unveiled its X-59 aircraft designed for a quieter type of supersonic flight. Plane that will get you across the country faster than the speed of sound. There is a whisper of thunder stirring in the desert air at Edwards Air Force Base, California. It's not the boom you'd expect to rattle windows and nerves for miles, but a subdued thump barely distinguishable, more potential than echo. This is the overture to a chapter of aviation history that's been closed for decades, defined by shattered records, prohibitive barriers, and dreams grounded by the laws of physics and policy. Now, for the first time, NASA's X-59 quiet supersonic research aircraft has begun its low-speed taxi tests, rolling forward both in a literal sense and across the threshold of technological change that could recast the future of high-speed flight. The X-59 stands at the intersection of long-standing ambition and new possibility. An experimental jet, uniquely engineered to fly at supersonic speeds, approaching about 925 miles per hour, without the infamous window-shattering sonic boom that accompanied aircraft such as the Concorde and military interceptors. Instead, it is designed to create a gentle thump a technical innovation that seeks to resolve the enduring tension between velocity and tranquility. Within the X-59's sleek, meticulously shaped fuselage, the principles of aerodynamics meet decades of regulatory caution. This moment marks the beginning of a campaign that stretches far beyond engineering prowess. With the X-59, NASA is not only exploring new realms of speed, it is gathering vital evidence to support reconsideration of the FAA's long-standing ban on supersonic flight over U.S. soil. If successful, this project may not just update the operational rulebook, but could change the landscape for commercial competitiveness and government or military applications, domains where rapid, quiet response is increasingly significant. But with the X-59's wheels touching the California tarmac under their own power for the first time, a critical question now echoes across the aviation community. Is this quiet revolution poised to break not just the sound barrier, but existing barriers to a new era of supersonic flight? The sonic boom problem, a wall of sound and policy. Since the dawn of supersonic flight, the sonic boom has halted progress as both an emblem and a barrier, an audible marker of human achievement, and at the same time, a source of public concern and disruption. A sonic boom occurs when an aircraft surpasses the speed of sound, creating a shockwave that can be forceful enough to shatter glass and alarm communities far below. The Concorde, once the vanguard of commercial supersonic travel, saw its reach over land curtailed, not for lack of ingenuity, but because of these very effects. When Concorde traversed the Atlantic at record speeds, delivering unprecedented reductions in journey times, the trademark sonic boom quickly stoked resistance when experienced over popular areas. Reports of cracked plaster, broken windows, and startled livestock surfaced. Civic complaints, petitions, and town meetings voiced the discomfort of citizens, turning the sound of supersonic achievement into an unwanted intrusion. The Federal Aviation Administration responded by implementing a ban on civil supersonic flight over land, a regulatory stance still in place in the United States and mirrored by other nations. Thus, what was technologically possible became constrained by public tolerance and legislative limits, placing civil supersonic ambitions on indefinite hold. Military aircraft continued to operate at supersonic speeds for strategic advantage, but for commercial airliners, the boom drew a boundary. This legacy has shaped the ongoing dialogue between innovation and its societal impact. Throughout the years, engineers and policymakers have revisited the roots of the boom problem, exploring new aerodynamic designs, refining propulsion methods, and conducting in-depth acoustic studies. Again and again, they reached the same conclusion. Unless the boom could be controlled or mitigated, supersonic travel would not be acceptable over land. Research efforts persisted, yet the technical and societal challenges ensured that public acceptance remained elusive, making the sonic boom a case study in the 10 
tension between technology and community standards. The X-59 embodies a shift in approach. Rather than retrofitting solutions onto established designs, it is purpose-built from the outset to minimize the boom's impact. NASA and Lockheed Martin have collaborated to directly reshape the craft and the consequent shockwaves, aiming to produce a softer, less disruptive sound at ground level. This approach seeks not only to address technical challenges, but to change perceptions and, potentially, policy. What does it take to transform decades of stagnation into the quiet hope of a new era? Engineering Silence – The X-59's Design Every element of the X-59 has been honed toward a single goal, redesigning the shape of supersonic noise. Here, the science of aerodynamics is advanced not just to achieve high speed, but to orchestrate quiet. Far from resembling earlier supersonic transports, the X-59's profile is unusually slender and elongated, with a needle-like nose extending well beyond conventional proportions. This configuration was dictated by years of computational modeling and wind tunnel testing, all geared toward breaking up and attenuating the pressure waves produced at supersonic speeds. The shape ensures that pressure waves do not combine into a single harsh boom. One of the most striking features is the unconventional cockpit placement. Rather than a standard forward-facing canopy, the cockpit sits low within the fuselage, depending on advanced sensor systems and high-resolution displays to give pilots adequate external visibility. This enables the forward fuselage to retain its optimal aerodynamic curve, further smoothing shockwave formation. Traditional supersonic jets generate sharp, focused shockwaves that merge and strike the ground as a single, intense boom. In contrast, the X-59's elongated nose and fine-tuned surfaces carefully control the release and distribution of pressure waves. The aircraft's single, top-mounted engine and tailored exhaust placement contribute as well, further blurring and diffusing the sonic signature before it reaches the ground. By the time these sequential softened waves are heard, they arrive as a measured thump, minimizing the potential for disturbance. Such innovation is more than theoretical. It is intended to address both community concerns and regulatory noise benchmarks, forming the foundation for new standards in future supersonic operations. The X-59 is designed to cruise at approximately 925 miles per hour, comfortably above Mach 1. While such speed would reduce typical transcontinental flight times significantly, the X-59 itself is not a commercial airliner nor a military jet, but a research platform. Its mission is to validate noise reduction concepts and inform regulations, setting the stage for future high-speed aircraft. To meet these objectives, advanced materials are integral to the jet's design, a mix of composites and titanium for lightweight strength and efficient performance. Its General Electric F414 engine, adapted from modern fighter jets, powers the unique airframe, while sophisticated digital flight controls manage the aircraft's complex aerodynamics. Yet while achieving a quiet signature at supersonic speed is a key technical goal, the larger test facing the X-59 is societal, gaining the acceptance of the communities who will hear it fly, testing the future, community feedback, and regulatory challenge. As the X-59 progresses from taxi test toward its first flight, NASA's objectives extend far beyond technical proof. Planned for 2025, the next phase involves a campaign of flights over select U.S. communities. These missions form the heart of the project, seeking real-world data on the public's response to the X-59's sonic thump. The mission is clear. Gather robust, unbiased feedback from residents about their experience of the new sound produced by Overland Supersonic Flight. NASA aims to include a diversity of participants by selecting communities with varying population densities, geographic features, and ambient noise levels. During the flights, precision sound monitoring instruments will be placed throughout neighborhoods and open spaces to record the thump in context. Residents will be surveyed, both with advance notice and, in some instances, without specific information about flight timing to help produce accurate measures of perceived acceptability. This approach adds a vital human dimension to the technical data. Instead of defining what is acceptable from a technical standpoint alone, NASA is employing a participatory model engaging those directly affected and soliciting their honest reactions. The outcome will help determine whether quiet supersonic technology is truly unobtrusive 
or simply an improvement over previous generations. These data are vital not only for internal evaluation, but for presenting compelling evidence to regulators, such as the FAA. Central to changing policy is demonstrating not just theoretical noise reduction, but documented public acceptance. The findings will inform efforts to establish new noise standards for supersonic flight, necessary steps before any potential revision of existing bans. NASA's engagement strategy is mutually supportive with its technical goals, outreach initiatives, community meetings, educational sessions, and transparent data sharing ensure that residents understand both the technology and the rationale for the tests. Public education will focus on connecting the thump with broader potential benefits, such as shorter travel times and expanded economic opportunities. Through this combination of technical measurement and public engagement, NASA and its partners are working to align innovation with community standards, laying the groundwork for possible regulatory transformation. First steps on the tarmac, taxi tests, and technical milestones. The steps from design to flight are complex and incremental, particularly with an experimental aircraft like the X-59. In 2024, a significant milestone was achieved. The X-59 completed low-speed taxi tests at Edwards Air Force Base. These tests are more than symbolic. They are essential rehearsals that validate every component of the aircraft, from brakes and steering to avionics and flight controls. Taxi tests may appear mundane, but for a uniquely configured jet like the X-59, they provide the first real-world demonstration that all systems interact as designed. NASA and Lockheed Martin engineers monitor these runs intensely, capturing data on system responses and driver integration. Any discovered discrepancies or malfunctions are addressed before further milestones. The successful completion of this phase confirms readiness for the next steps. Initial flight, gradually expanding into higher speed and altitude. Each phase is rigorously documented and analyzed, satisfying both internal safety standards and external regulatory requirements. The collaboration unites NASA's research expertise with Lockheed Martin's manufacturing capabilities and the operational discipline of test pilots ensuring that reliability is maintained at every turn. With every successful test, the project builds confidence among engineers, pilots, regulators, and the public that the X-59 will fulfill its mission as a testbed for quiet supersonic innovation. Regulatory hurdles and strategic implications. The path to civil supersonic transport over land is determined as much by regulation as by technology. The FAA's ban on commercial supersonic overland operations remains a central obstacle, grounded in the goal of protecting communities from disruptive noise. The X-59's performance is therefore only one factor in a broader process requiring data, public engagement, and policy coordination. Even as the X-59's technology demonstrates potential, NASA and international aerospace partners understand that changing regulations will require methodical effort. The global airline industry, massive in scale and scope, has long hoped for a breakthrough in quiet supersonic travel. Should demonstrable noise reduction be achieved and accepted, the door may open to supersonic transport designs that can operate over populated areas without disruption. NASA's program thus represents a deliberate effort to provide the evidence base regulators need. By conducting community noise tests and compiling comprehensive technical data, the agency hopes to foster an environment where new regulations, based on measured impacts, not just theoretical standards, can be crafted. International bodies such as the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO, will also play a key role in harmonizing standards to prevent inconsistencies between countries. If new standards are adopted, commercial aircraft manufacturers may pursue quiet supersonic designs, invigorating competition and innovation worldwide. Airlines could offer shorter transcontinental and intercontinental routes, reshaping global business and travel patterns. Governments would have new options for fast, minimally disruptive air transport. The ramifications would be felt not only in civil air travel, but also in commerce and national security logistics. However, the process will necessarily be 
incremental. Regulatory changes of this scale are challenging, requiring years of research review, public comment, safety validation, and international negotiation. The X-59's data collection campaigns are only the first steps, and follow-on projects will likely be needed to explore impacts at greater scale or in varied environments. The new competitive landscape, Supersonic's next steps. The X-59 is not intended to be alone. Its success will likely spur additional research and development, both in the United States and internationally, to advance quiet supersonic technology further. Aerospace companies are already preparing design concepts for next-generation business jets and, potentially, commercial supersonic airliners if the regulatory tides turn. These efforts focus not just on speed, but on noise minimization, fuel efficiency, and environmental compliance. Military applications of quiet supersonic technology may also be explored, particularly for strategic rapid response missions over inhabited regions where noise minimization is critical. Ultimately, mastery of quiet supersonic flight and the establishment of global noise standards could determine future leadership in the aviation sector. Nations and organizations at the forefront of this effort may set the benchmarks and control the first wave of safe, acceptable overland supersonic operations, as in previous technological epochs, the economic, diplomatic, and strategic benefits of being first could prove significant. Looking forward, the shape of the skies to come. With the completion of the X-59's taxi tests and preparations underway for its first flights, the outlines of a new phase in aviation are emerging. While many hurdles remain, from technical refinements to regulatory approval, the fundamental feasibility of quiet supersonic flight is closer to reality than at any point since the original supersonic age. The vision for the future is compelling. Faster air travel that no longer requires a trade-off with community peace and safety. Should the X-59 successfully demonstrate quiet supersonic operation and win public acceptance, airline passengers might eventually enjoy continent-spanning journeys in a fraction of the time currently required. The economic and societal benefits of global hyper-connectivity could be far-reaching, yet fresh challenges will arise with progress. The environmental impacts of supersonic operations, the equitable distribution of benefits, and the adaptation of airport and airspace infrastructure will demand care careful consideration. The experience of the jet age taught that technological advances bring new questions of access, sustainability, and responsibility. Above all, the X-59's quiet thump is a signal. It is possible to balance the ambitions of speed with social responsibility. Engineering, policy, and public trust must move forward together if the promise of quiet supersonic travel is to be realized. Today, the X-59 stands ready at Edwards Air Force Base, a symbol of what coordinated, forward-looking innovation can achieve. Its data, outcomes, and public engagements will help chart the course for a quieter, faster future. When a new age of supersonic flight arrives, it may be marked not by a disruptive boom, but by the measured affirmation that progress and public acceptance have at last found common ground. In this, the X-59's journey is both a technical and civic milestone, a first step toward rewriting the limits that define how fast and how quietly we move across the skies.